Okay, one more example here of integrating uh, a trig function using some substitution. I guess more complicated than a trig function, but eventually it'll simplify to just a trig function. So here we've got 1 plus 2t squared all squared times t times cosecant squared of 1 plus 2t squared cubed. Yuck. Okay, so again, this looks like a big mess. Uh, the thing that sticks out to me again is I've got cosecant squared. If I just had cosecant squared of something, um, I know an antiderivative of cosecant squared, which to me thinks I really want to get rid of all of this stuff. Well, if I pick this to be my u, um, I think this is going to hopefully bump down and take care of everything. So let's see what happens. So um, if I pick u to be our 1 plus 2t squared cubed, our du, we'd have to use the chain rule, so the 3 would come out front. Then we would have 1 plus 2t squared squared. We would have to take 1 from the exponent. And then we would multiply by the derivative of the inside, which would just be 4t to the first. And then we would tack on our dt. I think I left off our dt in the original, so that should be on there. Um, so let's see here. Um, okay, so we've got 1 plus 2t squared. That takes care of that part. Um, let's see. Our dt is included. Our t is included. The only thing that kind of we don't want is if we multiply, we would have uh, 3 times 4. It looks like we would get 12t, 1 plus 2t squared, squared dt. And we really kind of, you know, there's no 12 in here. So um, I'm going to get rid of the 12 just by multiplying both sides by 1 over 12. And then we'll have t times 1 plus 2t squared, squared dt. And that's going to take care of just about everything uh, that we need. It'll take care of this part and this part. So 1 plus 2t squared. Uh, times t times dt, that's what we have here. So I'm going to replace all of that with our 1 12th times du. And then we would have cosecant squared left over, but cosecant squared of the stuff on the inside, that's what we decided to call u in the first place. So now we have cosecant squared of u. So I'm thinking, um, let's see, whose derivative is cosecant squared? So I remember the derivative of tangent is secant squared. Uh, the derivative of cotangent is actually negative cosecant squared. So that means we'll need a negative cotangent of u plus c. And again, now I can just uh, plug our u back in. I'm going to pull the negative out front. So we'll have negative 1 over 12 times cotangent of u, again, which is 1 plus 2t squared cubed. Plus C, and again, now we have found our antiderivative.